Okay, so you guys tagged me in this video. You want to know the chords? This is a song with Von Keys Henry accompanying this choir on the organ. So let's see what we got here for this improv, man, and see what we got going on here. That's why y'all want to be honest. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this is the old uh, Richard Smallwood song. You need to learn this song. In fact, uh, uh, okay, I gotta show y'all some stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, this is old Richard Smallwood song. Let's see, let me do this. Um, here are the chords. All right, so let's start from the top. I'm just going to show you the chords first. We're going to go through the original chords, give you a tutorial on that. Then I'm going to show you his changes, and then we're going to be out. So from the beginning. Oh, oh. And now you can have an E here. You can change this to a dominant chord by having this E, e flat to an E. Right? Give thanks. Now he does an inverted dominant here. He has an A flat in the bottom, B flat on top. And then... That's going to be my B-flat major 7. That's how I would play that. And then... The Lord. And then for he is going to be a um, D-flat chord over F. And then G-flat chord, right? Now, I changed this. This, is, this should just be a E for he. That's going to just be a G-flat chord over B-flat. But remember, gospel musicians, we love putting dominant chords where major chords should be. So instead of playing it like a G flat chord over B flat, I can change it to a dominant chord. Right, by adding the D and the A flat, that tritone in there. It is good. It's just a B flat chord or a B, a B sus4 that resolves where the tenors are at the bottom. And then for he, that's going to be E flat chord over G, A flat chord. A flat chord over C. And then D flat chord. This resolves as sus4 to a, and then F chord, B flat chord. This is just an E flat chord over G. All right, I'm adding additional notes. If I wanted to add it to a dominant, I would add a B in here. And then you have this for his mercy. This is A flat minor seven. Then you have this B flat over A flat forever. It changes to a dominant by changing, moving this F to a F sharp. I'm acting, I know I'm teaching this as if you already know it, so my bad. Go learn, go listen to it. I'll put it on the screen so you guys, it's gonna be over here. Uh, so go listen to the original and then you'll understand this. And then, and ever. And then they go into this, um, dun, dun, dun. Then they go on to do this. It's e, e flat mixolydian uh, flat six kind of sound. Right? Sounds like total praise, the end, right? Same scale there. E flat mixolydian. Flat six. Now, let's discuss now what he did though. Okay, here we go. Should they? Thing. Remember I told you he did an inverted dominant there Then you have the C sharp F To the B major 7 F To the B flat Okay Now let's see what he changes it up here Oh so he did um Right. So where is that change made? Um, it's, it's made on the B flat. So uh, give thanks. OK, now I want to talk to you about reharm really quick, because this was a, a reharmonization. Chords are established by the root up, bottom up. But chords are reharmed 
top down. Because what that means is that this is the top note. So when they're reharmed, the top note is maintained always, right? Because the melody, so the reharm principle is that you don't change the top note when you're changing the chord. Not only is he keeping the top note, but he's keeping the top three notes. Okay. And so it's actually a very simple change. If you look at the notes that we can add to the bottom of this chord, um, it would be a G. That would change it to a minor chord. If we added an E flat, that would change it to a major, E flat major seven or E flat major nine. Or we could even add a C at the bottom and this would change it to like a C minor nine, um, 11 type sound. And so these are the options that you have if you were reharmonizing this because it's a B flat chord, right? It's a B flat chord. He's not just keeping the top note, he's keeping the entire B flat chord, but only changing the root to the C. So instead of going. He's going. So the, the, the B flat sound is being maintained through that change because when you play, when you put a C at the bottom, the B flat is still within that chord. And then if you were, and again, in the bottom, he goes, but remember G, G was one of the substitutions that we could make underneath a B flat chord. Okay. So what does this mean for you watching the video when you're reharmonizing? And especially when you're reharmonizing with a choir and that choir already has three part harmony, you don't want to just reharm and just change it and say, well, I can play a, a, a G flat major seven, right? Right. And keep the F on top because Sean says I reharm from the top down. Well, you can't do that because if I were to reharm to this chord, it's going to conflict with the choir. Because if you look at the top of this chord, there's a D flat there and the choir singing a D. Okay. So this is the reason why we say when, when you're playing for a choir, you're limited, your reharm is limited to the notes that the choir is singing. And if you're playing for a soloist, you have more freedom because that soloist can only sing one note at a time. And then you have more options But the choir, because they're singing three parts, reharmony at this part of the song means you would be adding you know, very few notes. Okay. So that's, that's my thoughts on that. Let me see if, if there's more here, because I think there was something else here. So, um, okay. So this is just an F. This is just an F altered scale. And if we were to play this, you know, with the third. Okay, it's over an F. The altered scale is just something you can use. And actually, I'm going to be going live and teaching that system soon. So if you're available on Monday, go check that out. And if you're not, look on my channel because it's going to be coming soon. It's called Altered System. And it's it's basically a, a, a way to just find all the chords you can find on a dominant chord. So it's a really uh, neat way to look at things. So I'll be looking forward to uh, presenting that to you hopefully this Monday. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to doing that. But yeah, man, you guys go check it out. Uh, Bonk, Bonk Henry. Check out Vaughn on Instagram. Check out the original song. Uh, Richard Smallwood um, sings a song, His Mercy Endureth Forever. So it's a really good song. And that's the part I was telling you about. We'll just kind of play it to the end. Attention note. 